Several years ago, our family was vacationing in southern Missouri, and one day we took a side trip down to Arkansas for a canoe excursion. Later in the day, as we made our way back to our temporary home in Missouri, we passed on winding and hilly roads through the town of Eureka Springs, and then proceeded north on the same highway on which we had traveled earlier in the day. Or so we thought. As I drove along, I first began to notice that even though I had traveled this road earlier in the day, it seemed a bit unfamiliar. And the further I drove, the more unfamiliar it seemed. Something else was wrong, too. Although at the time, I couldn't quite put my finger on it. But then finally, it hit me. It was late afternoon, and the shadows of trees and other objects that were being cast across the road were coming from the wrong direction. Suddenly, I realized I was going south instead of north, and if I didn't make an immediate 180-degree course correction, we weren't going to get back to Missouri any time that day. Setting the proper course is so important when you're traveling, and even when the deviations are far less drastic than mine that day in Arkansas, the result can be disastrous. Any pilot will tell you that a deviation of even a few degrees at the beginning of the trip leads to straying more and more off course with every mile you fly. We know this is true in our personal lives as well, and it's also true of a church, a nation, or a culture. What seems to be only a minor step off the path of righteousness eventually becomes full-scale rebellion and, in the case of a culture, absolute chaos. What starts as a thought becomes an action. An action repeated becomes a habit, and a habit becomes a lifestyle that leads to death. You see, getting off God's path outlined in the Bible puts us on a collision course with disaster. So is there any hope for a nation or a culture that is so seriously off course? Is there anything we can do besides simply bracing ourselves for the inevitable crash? Well, praise God, the answer is yes. Because as I have studied American history, I see that we have been on this road before. And at critical junctures, a major course correction has come along through revival and spiritual awakening. Come along with me over the next several weeks as we take a trip through American history to discover God's compassionate and critical course corrections.